Now we're crossing the line where no light can ever escape to reach you again. For us, we don't feel that. But for you, you never actually see us cross it at all. They would never see us fall in. From the point of view of someone outside, nothing goes into the black hole, ever. Do they see us imprinted there forever, or does the light from the, us slowly fade it, until... This light is climbing away through this gravitational field, so it's getting stretched. So we get redder and redder and redder, infinitely redshifted. You can write the equations as a space being like a river that flows into this thing, almost like a sinkhole or something in space. And the river of space flows at the speed of light inwards on the horizon, and then faster than light inside. So if you imagine that you're a photon, a particle of light, you're like a little fish swimming against the tide. But if the tide's going at the speed that it's as fast as you can swim, the speed of light, you can't get out. We're now past the event horizon. But since a black hole is a distortion of space-time, the singularity is not just a place, it's also a moment in time. And it's in fact the end of time in Einstein's theory. Then it's really beautiful because um, you think it, it becomes something that's in the future for anyone or anything that crosses the horizon. So it's like if, if you say, well, I want to escape this thing, it's like saying, I want to escape tomorrow. If I said to you, let's run away from tomorrow, you go, I can't run away from tomorrow, it's in the future. That's what this thing behaves like, singularity.